Well, it was Cougars night last night and it took place at the Bella Concert Hall. And Dylan, you actually had a chance to go there. Is it as amazing as everybody says it is? Well, Jordan, it was a absolutely beautiful venue. And uh, also, I think if I heard correctly, your name was called, but uh, we have to obviously acknowledge athletes before you. And, and since moving to the CIS, the Cougars have finished what has been their best season ever. Five of eight teams made the playoffs, and it was celebrated last night at Cougars okay, Night. Olivia McDonald has more. In a room full of university athletes, there was a little less sweat, court shoes and jerseys, and a little more dresses and ties as the athletes arrived at the annual Cougars Night. This year's Cougars Night took place in the new Bella Concert Hall. The hall was filled with emotions, with first-year players excited for what's to come, and fifth-year players finally letting it sink in that it's their turn to pass down the torch. But through those five years, memories were made that will stick with the athletes as they continue on into their careers. I won't forget it, that's for sure. It's, uh, that's why it's bittersweet for me. It's hard to leave these guys behind, and it's, it's something that, you know what, life goes on, but I'll never forget it. Yeah, there's nothing worse than knowing that the program continues on when you leave, because I just figured that it would stop. Like, I'm it, this is it, everyone, <laughs> everyone's done. Yeah. So, uh, no, these, the girls are amazing, and all the athletes we meet are just absolutely incredible people, so it's going to be hard to leave behind. With so much knowledge gained over their time being student athletes, the MRU women's hockey team had a little advice for the up and coming players. I think it's a little cliche, but like honestly, don't take a second of it for granted. Because, it, and as much as like we all say it, like I've had fifth year say it to me in the past, like you're in your first year and you blink and you're in your fifth year and, and you don't sort of realize that it's actually true until this moment right now. With 18 athletes up for nominations and only eight athlete awards given out, the night was filled with excitement. Fifth years Jenna Smith and Jordan Parkin of the men's and women's volleyball team took home both the Brian Fleming Award and the inaugural award. Jenna Smith also finished the night on a high note with being named Female Athlete of the Year and Team MVP. Tyler Fiddler of the men's hockey team was named Male Athlete of the Year along with Team MVP but Fiddler was unable to be there to accept his awards because he has signed a professional contract with the Colorado Eagles of the ECHL. Other MVPs of the night were Brett Layton from the men's basketball team, Cody Cook, men's soccer, Angela Driscoll, women's basketball, Jocelyn Freilich, women's hockey, Megan Prudhomme, women's soccer, and Lucas King from men's volleyball, who also was a recipient of the Community Leadership Award alongside Haley Lefebvre of the women's soccer team. For the first time, there was a tie for male rookie of the year between Colin Cooper from the men's hockey and Brett Layton from men's basketball. But for female rookie of the year, Carolina Alonji from the women's volleyball team took the title. Rob Godfrey and athletic therapist Muna Fadol were honored with the Cougars Commitment Award for having served more than five years with the department. And broadcasting student Jordan Magnuson was the winner of the second annual media award for his hard work with the Cougars broadcasting program but he was unable to receive it because he was out shooting a story. So his classmate, Dylan Dodge, accepted it for him. Over 100 athletes gather here in the Bella Concert Hall to accept awards. For first years, it's a little inspiration for the seasons to come. And for the fifth years, it's a nice way of saying a final goodbye. For MRU TV News, I'm Olivia McDonald.